welcome the students, staff, community members, and honored guests, Mr. and Mrs. Hurley, Mr. Chris Renner. We are here today to learn, to listen, and be inspired by the accomplishments of our Hall of Fame inductees. Please join me in recognizing Zoe Kohler, soon to be graduate and alumni, our Master of Ceremony for the 2018 Southern Door Alumni Hall of Fame. Thank you, Mr. Bosley. On behalf of the students, staff, and community here at Southern Door, I would like to welcome our Alumni Hall of Honorees, Joe Hurley and Sandy Anoy Hurley, and Chris Renner, their guests, members of the Board of Education, community members, and our high school students and staff. Please stand as the Southern Door Vocal Jazz Ensemble performs our national anthem.
vocal jazz ensembles under, under the direction of Mrs. White with another round of applause. <laughs> Student body, staff members, Board of Education members, alumni honorees, and guests. Today, we mark the sixth year for the Alumni Hall of Fame. It is our hope that not only will we learn more about two of Southern Moore's finest graduates, but also gain some new insights from them on what's important in life once we graduate from Southern Door. Here to share some background about the Southern Door Alumni Hall of Fame selection process is committee member and Southern Door Special Education Associate, Ms. Kathy Bosman.
our students, some things looked very much the same, but there are a lot of things that were really different. At this time, we would like to get started with the recognition of our honorees. As I call your name, would you please come up on the stage and have a seat at the table? Mr. Joe Hurley and Mrs. Sandy Annoy Hurley and student representative Jared Bowen. and student representative Alex Quigley. Let's start with our first honoree, Mr. and Mrs. Hurley, who will be presented by school board student representative and senior, Jared Bowen. Joe Hurley and Sandy Annoy Hurley, class of 1972 and class of 1973, have been involved as entrepreneurs in manufacturing and sturgeon business since 1975. Over this 40 year period, they have started, owned, and operated businesses related to automotive, aftermarket reproductions, marine hardware, and CNC job shop manufacturing. In 1978, they started, owned, and operated the manufacturing business, which is currently Pro Products Incorporated. This is a manufacturing business in Door County, which makes precision CNC machine components for companies all over the world. The business has grown into a multi-million dollar business employing 43 people, with 80% of their customers being nationwide. The Hurleys and their business, Pro Products, have received numerous awards such as the 2017 Door County Industry of the Year, 2017 Small Company Manufacturing Award of Distinction from the Greater Green Bay Chamber of Commerce, and were nominated in 2018 for Wisconsin Manufacturer of the Year. Over the course of their business careers, they have maintained a partnership with employees to establish a high-quality leadership team always engaging employee commitment and fostering continuous improvement. They have created on-site classrooms and developed customized curriculum with NWTC to train highly skilled employees. The great relationship they develop with their employees, coupled with state-of-the-art equipment and a key focus on meeting customer needs, has earned the Hurley family reputation as innovative and visionary business leaders. Joe and Sandy are active members in their community lending their support and service to youth education through various private and public school committees, the Corpus Christi School Board, and coaching destination imagination teams and scout troops. They have lent their business expertise to local bank regional boards, the Door County Economic Development Board, the Sturgeon Bay Yacht Club, and the both Sturgeon Bay and Door County government agencies. The United Way of Door County has also been a recipient of their leadership and volunteerism. In his nominations of the Hurleys, Terry Vogel said, the Hurleys are great examples of demonstrating the education and life skills received at Southern Door, along with their generosity to give back to the community to help others. Mr. and Mrs. Hurley's business leadership, volunteerism, and generosity have made a difference in many vital aspects of the Door County community. It is my honor to welcome 1972 Southern Door graduate Joe Hurley and his wife, 1973 graduate Sandy Annoy Hurley, as a member of the class of 2018 in the Southern Door Alumni Hall of Fame. Mr. and Mrs. Hurley, on behalf of the Southern Door School District, School District community, Jared and our high school principal, Mr. Bosley, would like to present you with a copy of the award that is already hanging in our Alumni Hall of Fame outside the entrance to the Eagle Gym.
It is indeed an honor, Mr. and Mrs. Hurley, to hear how you have made a difference as business entrepreneurs and your volunteer efforts in the community since graduating from Southern Door. We are so proud to have you join the Alumni Hall of Fame. As we students prepare for graduation, please share with us some of your experiences and advice. Hello, I'm Sandy Hurley. Good morning, Superintendent Bigman, Principal Mosley, Alumni Committee, teachers, students, past honorees, friends, family, and our sons, Stephen and John, who are here today. Everyone here today has played an integral part in who we are. No matter what our accomplishments are in career or service, there's no greater accomplishment than raising two men of fine character. Love you, John and Stephen. We are happy to share this honor with you, Chris. Congratulations. We'd like to recognize our nominator, Terry Vogel, who was a classmate of mine and a Rotary colleague. He worked hard and was persistent until we committed to the nomination. There are actually a lot of graduates from 72 and 73 that have careers in Door County that have been very important to the area economy and local leadership. So there are many individuals that conduct their lives in a manner that make them worthy of this accolade. Southern Door graduates very well. Starting and operating four businesses over 40 years, we have worked hard to run a solid company, treat employees as valuable assets, and be good corporate citizens. We don't do what we do for recognition, but are humbled and honored to be inducted in the Alumni Hall of Fame. Hi, I'm Joe Hurley. I'm the man behind the woman. <laughs> now that we broke the ice a bit. I grew up on the south side of Chicago, and when I was 15, my mother and my brothers were moved here. And I attended Southern Door just my senior year.
investors and see if we could buy the remains of that company, which we did. We literally bought it for pennies on the dollar. Uh, we redesigned some of the products with help of other people, uh, which, by the way, have to be marine hydraulic systems. And we began selling those nationwide, which also led them to selling them worldwide. As demand increased, we began to manufacture the components in-house, which in turn led to our fourth business, manufacturing metal components for other companies. So as you go through life, you'll see one opportunity leads to another opportunity. Uh, we, we found passion for what we were doing. We set many goals, created many plans how to execute those goals. You need to be flexible because throughout life, things are going to change. Things that are out of your control. So you have to be able to adapt, which we did. Uh, as far as owning your own business, there's a lot of things you have to learn. You have to learn to control the growth, how to be uh, fiscally responsible, or you can get yourself in trouble real fast. In, in life, I've found that Every person has to set goals. Uh, if you don't, you will fail. Uh, and, and once you set realistic goals, you have to build, develop a plan on how you're going to obtain those goals. Every realistic goal that I've set, I have been able to meet. There's no magic equation. You have to research the opportunities, set goals, and then have a plan how you're going to obtain those goals. Have the focus and commitment to reach those goals. Opportunities will present, present themselves to you throughout your life. You just have to be aware of when those opportunities confront you and how you're going to act on and achieve those goals. Sometimes it seems like we didn't choose our profession as business owners. The opportunities presented themselves to us, and we acted on those opportunities. Today, I work daily alongside several Southern Moore graduates that happen to be some of our very best creative thinkers and problem solvers, which my, my sons can attest to also. Without those people, we wouldn't be the company that we are today. What Joe didn't tell you was that when he was 12, he had a morning and evening paper route in Chicago, and he won a contest in his district for selling the most new subscriptions and was the youngest route carrier in the city to win their district. So I think you were an entrepreneur long before you realized it. Whether you're headed to the working world or continuing education, it is necessary to equip yourself with a skill set to employ yourself with a challenging position. Research the types of positions that interest you and empower yourself with the knowledge in that area. You have an obligation to yourself to do your very best and meet or exceed your own expectations. You need to rely on yourself, not others, to keep strong. Perhaps our success is due simply to stubborn determination, as we're both competitive in a way that does not permit not finding a solution to support an endeavor and make it happen. Be curious and tenacious and stay enthusiastic. Enthusiasm and a good attitude can't be taught. It has to come from within. Perseverance along with knowledge will lead you to your purpose and passion. And when you have passion for what you do, it's not work. So obtain the knowledge and good skills related to what you enjoy and employers will continue to invest in you if you show aptitude, a good attitude, and a willingness to be part of a team to make a company successful for all. Over 40 years, we've been fortunate to develop numerous personal and professional friendships. Whether negotiating a purchase or cultivating a new customer, we have literally met hundreds of people and built many great relationships. We have surrounded ourselves with individuals that may have abundant knowledge in areas where we have less strength. We are for the most part self-taught, but you can learn a lot from other people. 
These friendships and acquaintances are truly the most meaningful and rewarding part of our careers and owning our business. As far as living and working in Door County, contrary to some beliefs, we have great paying jobs here in Door County and a quality of life second to none. We have numerous state and county parks, many miles of shoreline and waters to enjoy, along with a small town feel and a cultural focus on par with large metro areas. With a lower cost of living, we have a great story to tell. Joe and I have been and will always be proponents of growing Door County's industrial, industrial economy and strong advocates for education and careers related to the trades, particularly the manufacturing area. Besides landing the career you desire, find a way to be of service to your community you call home. We all have abilities and can seek to serve for a cause we believe in. When you become involved to help others, you become an agent for change, and there's no greater feeling of fulfillment than to know you've made a difference. We have had the opportunity and privilege to serve, whether it's Boy Scouts, schools, nonprofits, service clubs, or other city and county committees, and it's been challenging and rewarding to know we've offered our time and talent. Over the years, we've been asked questions related to being married and also business partners. Well, we don't have enough time for that talk. <laughs> Once again, thank you everyone for the honor bestowed upon us today, and God bless. Let's give them another round of applause. Our second honoree, Mr. Chris Brennard, will be presented by school board student representative and junior, Alex Quigley. Chris Renard is a third generation cheesemaker and owner of Renard's Cheese, an iconic Door County business where he continues to produce quality, gourmet, handcrafted cheese. After graduation from high school, Chris attended the University of Wisconsin Green Bay where he earned a business and marketing degree. After working as a grocery buyer for Super Value, he returned in 1998 to partner in the family business of Renard's Cheese and Rosebird Dairy, where his innovative ideas led to the introduction of string cheese and over 50 different flavored infused cheese selections. In 2013, Renard's Cheese was named the Door County Economic Development Corporation's Industry of the Year. Over the past two years, Chris has grown the manufacturing area of the business, Rosebud Dairy, from 5 to 25 employees. Bernard's Cheese Store has grown from 4 to 35 full-time and 15 part-time team members today. Not only does Bernard's Cheese provide excellent employment opportunities for many local residents, <coughs> but their state-of-the-art equipment has allowed for their business to grow while at the same time using the recipes that have brought them local, state, and national recognition. As one of only 60 master cheesemakers in the United States, Chris has mentored many licensed and upcoming young cheesemakers. Renard's Cheese has earned a number of state and national awards. He currently lends his expertise and leadership to the Board of Directors for the Wisconsin Cheesemaker Milk Marketing Board, the Northeastern Wisconsin Cheesemakers, and the Eastern Cheesemaker and Buttermaker Association. Chris loves to share his knowledge and enjoys the enthusiasm from young to old as he works with his family to promote Renard's Cheese as a favorite tourist destination, selling other Door County products and building many business partnerships. His generosity 
and advocacy for the quality of life in the community is found through his volunteer work, coaching youth athletics, and his contributions to numerous charities, including the founding of Carrie Ann Bernard Memorial, a fundraiser that supports Southern Doors Girls Athletics and Door Cancer. In her nomination of Chris, Debbie Waters said, Chris takes pride in building a strong business and recognizes the importance of staff mentoring and team building. Despite working very long days, he and his wife Anne always find time to participate in all their children's activities. Chris is a great role model for family and business. Chris Renard's chief, uh, sorry. <laughs> Chris Renard's business leadership, volunteerism, and generosity have made a difference in his life's work and also his community. It is my honor to welcome 1986 Southern Door graduate Chris Renard as a member of the class of 2018 in the Southern Door Alumni Hall of Fame.
That's one of the hardest things to learn and one of the most valuable things you'll get out of this. Today, whether I'm coaching softball or basketball, whether I'm training one of our new members on the team at Red Arch Tees, I always try to emulate the teachers and coaches from the Southern Door community that have made an everlasting impression on me. I'd like to take time here to thank part of my leadership crew. I have four members of my team here from Red Arch Tees that are very important in the leadership and training of all of our employees. I'd like to thank them for the time and the support they give my company and also all the employees at Red Arch Tees. I'd like to thank my parents and my grandparents. Their love and support throughout the years have helped me become who I am. And also they taught me the value of hard work. And most of all, I'd like to thank my wife Anne and my four beautiful daughters, Samantha, Gabrielle, Taylor, and Gary. Anne is my partner in life, and I'm very fortunate to have her as my partner in business as well. She'd be proud to be me getting this award, but fortunately she graduated from Southern Door. So let's thank her for being up here. Without her by my side and her love and support, I wouldn't be here today. The same holds true for my four beautiful daughters. Their love and support keep me going. With my wife and my four beautiful daughters, together as a team, we have the responsibility to, to provide a positive, a positive mark in our community. We are committed to give opportunity and share our mission so we may empower others to become leaders and enjoy success. One of the things we strive for on our HG is to make sure the people we, we have working for us, we empower them to do better things with their life and this community. It is my belief that I am able to be a positive role model because of the strong foundation I received from Southern Door and from my family. As I look out to you students today, it is my goal to inspire all of you to go after your dreams. To be real honest, when I graduated high school, I swore I was never coming back here. I was gone. I wasn't going to make cheese. I was out of here. And after I got out in the real world, I went to college and started working for myself. Dad called up and offered me the opportunity to come home. And it's one, it took me a little while, but I jumped in. It was the best move I ever made. So as you go out there into this world, know that the school and the community are giving you the tools necessary to achieve your goals. There's going to be obstacles as you go through life. But stay true to the course. Hard work and dedication will always see you through. Before I step down from here, I'd like to thank all of you. I'd like to say it. Express my humble I am to receive this recognition, and thank you for all the support. Thank you, Mr. Renard, for sharing your experiences and your advice. Let's give him another round of applause. We thank them for carrying on this tradition and eagle pride in their chosen careers and life experiences. Mr. and Mrs. Hurley and Mr. Renard, you are wonderful role models and have inspired us to think about the differences we can make in the world once we graduate from Southern Door. Let's give them both another round of applause. At this time, I would like to invite this, the Southern Door Vocal Jazz Ensemble back for one more selection.
and the vocal jazz ensemble. At this time, I would like to invite our superintendent, Mrs. Wickman, to the stage to offer a few closing remarks. First of all, um, I'd like to really thank Chris and Joel and Sandy for being here and being willing to be nominated for our Alumni Hall of Fame. Um, it's, it's just a great honor to be able to hear the stories of their journey, not only as students here at Southern Door, um, but also uh, the wonderful things that they've done in their career and the great messages that they've given us. Uh, for our students, um, out in the audience, you know, as young people in our community, you have a journey ahead of you, thousands of miles. Uh, for some of you that are freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, we look forward to your taking some of the advice about getting involved in school, whatever your passion is, whether it's auto mechanics, or it's uh, sports, or it's National Honor Society, getting involved and um, taking advantage of every opportunity that we have here at Southern York. For those of you that are going to be leaving us in just 10 days, we hope that you will take how many? Eight, eight days, okay. <laughs> hmm, I thought it was 10. Uh, for eight days, uh, we hope that you are taking the advice that you get and all of the experiences that you have here at Southern Door and that you will go on to be great role models and leaders that uh, your first step into the future is going to be the opening of doors. And I think you heard that you have to be open to every opportunity that comes in front of you. It's good to have an end to journey toward, but the most important part, as I think you've heard from our honorees, is the journey itself. It's what you do with your life's work. It's what you do with your passion. It's how you persevere through the challenges that may come your way and it's how you create relationships with your friends and your family and your community. So for all of our students, whether you're gonna be here a few more years and mentoring those little 4 Kers and kindergartners and elementary and middle school kids that are coming up, or for those of you that are going out as our graduates, find something you're passionate about. Do your very best. Give back to the community in which you live. But most importantly, be true to yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Vickman. This afternoon has been a great tribute to our distinguished alumni. We thank our honorees and their guests for taking the time out of your busy schedules, and in some cases, for traveling so far to be with us today. We wish you the very best in the future, and feel free to stop by and visit us whenever you, look, whenever you want. Now let's welcome the Southern Doors Instrumental Jazz Ensemble under the direction of Miss Naomi Files.
Mr. Bosley, Mrs. Bickman, and the Alumni Hall of Fame Committee in the High School Library for a reception. High school students, please report to your fourth period class.